Up to this point, we have discussed two important methods that allows us to produce our alcohol compounds from our alkenes. We spoke about hydroboration, which allows us to produce the anti markovnica product, and we also spoke about the direct hydration reactions that allows us to produce our markovnica alcohol products. So recall that in a straightforward or direct hydration reaction, this type of reaction proceeds via a carbocation intermediate and that carbocation intermediate can undergo an alkyl or hydride shift if that shift produces a more stable carbocation intermediate. So, in the following hydration reaction, we can either form the following Markovnikov product or we can form the following rearranged alcohol. So suppose we don't want to form this lower rearranged product. Suppose we only want to form the following Markovnikov product. What can we do for this reaction to only proceed in this direction? Well, instead of using our straightforward hydration reaction, we can use a second type of reaction known as oxymercuration. So in this reaction, we have two important steps taking place. In the first step, we use the following reagent. This reagent, which looks like this, is known as mercury acetate. So mercury acetate has the mercury atom that also contains a lone pair of electrons and these two following acetate molecules. We have the carbon double bonded to oxygen, also single bonded to this oxygen, and a methyl group on the side. Now, the second step in our reaction, we use a different type of reagent shown by NaBH4-. So the structure of this molecule is shown here. We have the boron attached to four identical H atoms, so the boron has a negative charge. And this positively charged sodium will bond to this molecule via an ionic bond. So in the first step, we have the solvent water. So our water is the solvent, and we have this reagent. In the second step, we have the following different reagent, and we also have our water acting as solvent. Now, if this reaction takes place, if we undergo oxymercuration, we will only form this Markovnikov product alcohol. So let's discuss the mechanism of this oxymercuration reaction. So in the first step, we have the following reaction taking place. We have the lone pair of electrons on our mercury attacking one of the carbons. Likewise, the pi bond, the two electrons in the pi bond, attacks this mercury atom, displacing one of the acetate groups. So we form the following cyclic intermediate. So now we have a positive charge on this mercury atom because it's bonded to only three different atoms or groups, in this case groups. So we have the following cyclic intermediate. In the second step of this uh, reaction, one of the first step of our reaction, oxymercuration reaction, we have the water, our solving acting as a nucleophile attacking this carbon, displacing this bond. We form the following intermediate, a second type of intermediate. And in the third step, we have with uh, another water molecule acting as a base, taking away this H, forming the following final product of our first step. So this is an isolable, you can isolate this molecule. This is the final product of our first step. In the second step, we have a different mechanism taking place. Now, we have the following anion that acts in the following manner. So we have the following reducing agent that essentially uses this lone pair of electrons in this bond to attack this atom, this mercury atom. So we form the following intermediate that has a negative charge 
on the mercury. In the second step, we have the following bond, the following pair of electrons in this bond attacking this H molecule, taking it away at the same time, displacing this pair of electrons in this bond. So we form the following final product of the entire oxymercuration reaction. We form the following Markovnikov alcohol product. Notice we do not have any rearrangements taking place because our oxymercuration reaction proceeds through the following intermediate that is cyclic. So what can we conclude about the oxymercuration reaction? Well, oxymercuration undergoes a cyclic intermediate to produce Markovnikov product, the alcohol given here. Now, this does not take place, this does not occur, this product does not form as it does in the straightforward hydration reaction because here we no longer have our carbocation intermediate that we have in this reaction. Here we have this cyclic intermediate, cyclic ion, that does not form any type of rearranged products. Now one last thing I want to mention is which side will this water molecule attack? Why is it that it attacks the more substituted side, the more substituted carbon, not this carbon? Because if we examine the transition state of this molecule, we see that our partial positive charge is formed on the more substituted, more stable carbocation. So our transition state is more stable if this lone pair of electrons attacks this carbon and not this carbon. Because our transition state is more stable, this reaction, this lone pair of electrons attacking this carbon has a higher rate than if this lone pair of electrons attacks the different carbon, the other carbon in this cyclic ring.